Hi, it's Amanda with Always in Love. We're back with a review of our finished buddy read. I hope you check out the uh, post from all this week and see how we thought about the book while we were reading it. Uh, we are doing a, our review for Protecting Shaylee by Ellie Christensen today. Uh, so Ethel Joe is here to tell you about it. Hi guys. So um, this book was a first for both of us and um, it's kind of, it's called, it's a first book in the Fagard series, and Shaylee was um, a child that believed in fairy tales um, that her father told her, and then one day her father um, dies, and so she's kind of just left that she doesn't believe in the fairy tales anymore, and then her protector, it's a guy that's kind of always been around since she was a child, and as she, you know, grew older, um, Aiden is kind of just, he's her protector, and she doesn't know that he is her protector, and so as she comes of age in the fae world, um, 21, she starts, she kind of is introduced to the fact that she is half fairy and half human. And so then she goes through this um, transformation of her life. And Aiden is there to guide her, even though she did not know that they were fated to be together. Um, it's kind of just like her coming of, she kind of just grows with this story. And Aiden is there to be her guide. And he is completely alpha, but he's completely... He has this thing about him where um, his sense of humor is also right there with it. And then Shaylee's sense of humor is she's really dry wit, and I love it. She kind of always comes out with these funny shirts with some funny sayings on them about unicorns and fairies and that stuff. And so she's kind of just um, the, a normal a normal 21 year old finding out that she's a fairy. And so Aiden is kind of the person that's going to push her through this and they grow through this process of understanding their life. And, you know, there's always a happily ever something going on in these books. And sure enough, there is. And so what do you think of the story and the plot? Cause this is something new to us. Uh, okay. So I was a little wary going in because I don't really know all that much about the fair or the fair world and really haven't been that interesting. And the experiences that I've had with it are um, the longer, bigger, more drawn out books like Harry Potter or the Sarah J. Moss books where there's these whole worlds and there's chapters upon chapters upon chapters of explaining it. And there's maps and there's big, long words that you don't really understand. But I really liked about this book is that she can explain an entire world and in kind of you really feel that because it's so similar to us, but it's it's different enough that it's um, it's really really fascinating world, and I can't wait to read the rest of the series to figure out more about it. But the way that she explains everything, the way that she um, talks about the different worlds and the light and the dark and all the different people and everything about it, it's it's just it's a really good. Um, experience for this being our first kind of supernatural book and it's a really great if you haven't experienced any of that too it's a really great introduction into it um, I think this series is something that you you know everybody should read um, I know a lot of people are put off by the the paranormal the fae or anything like that but you really shouldn't be on this book because everything is so well explained and so well that it's not this long drawn out explanation but it's um, it's so vivid and so great that you're really um, you know, do you feel like that this this could be somewhere that you could go visit? <laughs> I mean, really, uh, yeah. really liked that. Um, I really liked these books. I really liked the series. I thought it was a lot of fun. Um, the characters were great. The sassiness, the fighting, the bitter, you know, the bickering, um, just their banter back and forth is, you know, something that we both always love in books. But that's kind of one of the things that made Aiden really stand out as like a top shelf book boyfriend is that he was so sweet at times but then he would give her crap and take no crap and they would just fight all the time and then she he's training her physically and they're they're just you know going full force at each other and she's trying to take him out and it, it just adds a whole nother layer like his personality really meshed well with hers and they really um, it really made the book a lot more fun to read, a lot uh, more interesting to read, just have, to have Aiden as the, the book boyfriend in this book. And then um, we also meet his sister and his friends in the Fae world, and <laughs> they're just a riot too because they all take every opportunity to give him crap and give him <laughs> to... <laughs> 
whatever they can do. And it's great um, the way that they're all boisterous and loud or they all have their roles and they're protectors of these people. And so you'd think that that would take the toll on somebody, but really um, it ha they really keep a lightness and a, um, I guess it's partially because they can't really lie. They If they don't have something nice to say, they just don't say it, which is my top saying of all time. Like that's my, I live and die for that saying. And I think everybody else should too, but no one does. No. That was one of my favorite things about the series is, you know, they can't really lie. And um, it, it made for a lot fewer misunderstandings, a lot fewer miscommunication issues. And it was a really, it wasn't always a smooth process, but it was always a good process. You always felt that they were evolving. You always felt that they were growing as a couple or growing as an individual to become, you know, a couple. So it was really great to read that. Um, it was really great to read the the, so, the series with everything in it. Um, and I think that's kind of what drew me to it, too, is that, that um, Ellie can put, like, her chapters, you know, um, there was so much in it, but the descriptive words, like when she was describing the Fey world, the light, the buildings. I know you're a huge architect. You love it. I thought I was there. I was like in, you know, upstate New York, or I was in the Fey world because of the colors and the description. And then I was like, okay, you know, is this going to be a long book? Like you said, you know, some of the books that deals with supernatural, it, they're big, huge, you know, books of Congress types books. Yeah. This one wasn't. I think it's because... She can describe something in the few amount of sentence that you can sit there and you're just like, ah, oh. and then, you know, and then the banter and the subconscious stuff like Shaylee's subconscious, the way that that came through, I mean, I laughed out loud several times. I'm like, oh my gosh, did I just read that? And so you have to highlight it because it was just, there was just some great information and um, I loved it. And I was like, right when it ended, I was like, oh my goodness, I need to go to the second book. And sure enough, I one-clicked the second book. And I think I just one-clicked the whole damn series just because I wanted to read them. Because I was always like, I'm not going to read Paranormal. I'm not going to do that. And this, well, if they're like hers, I will read Paranormal now. Just because she made it it's fun, somewhat <laughs> real. And yeah, and like the whole faded stuff and some of the stuff she said and described, you know, um, one true love and just different things like the sun. Like I'm sitting in the sun right now. Like I wanted the energy cause I needed some vitamin D right now. It's true. You know, we, we do do some of this stuff. It's kind of, it's interesting to read. And I, I don't know, I can just go on and on and on about this book, even though it was a small, well, you know, not a really big book, but it was just a book that I think I'll probably reread. Don't you? Yeah, I think so. It was kind of, I think it was about 250 pages or so. Yeah. Uh, but this book, it felt like the way that it was described, the way that it was written, it felt like it was like either a TV show or a movie or something. Like you're just waiting for the next episode, which would be the mm -hmm. book. And it's kind of like um, almost a comforting at the, this point. Like it was such a great story and it was so fun and such an introduction to it that it, it's it's definitely something that you want to revisit. Definitely something that you want to, you know, come back to again, um, especially if you can read it all in one sitting instead of... <laughs> breaking it up into four chapters each night. But, um, you know, that didn't even affect it. Like, we were so ready to jump into the next chapters after the video that, <laughs> that it really didn't affect it. Um, but I really, really, really encourage you to pick this book up. Um, it was really fun. This series sounds like it's going to be a, a really fun ride. Um, I can't wait to see what happens to the other characters. Um, she hinted at, you know, some relationships, things like that, several different times. So I really can't wait to see what happens with those characters. Um the rest of the series, I believe that there are six books in it now, and Ellie has also written a couple books with some other authors. I will have more information about her so you can find out in the description of this book. Also, some links to our new Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter pages. Follow Yay! up. We put some fun teasers and things like that up. We also have contests periodically, so watch out for those. And um, I hope you like us and subscribe. Subscribe. <laughs> Bye. Bye.